feet with chopsticks, they can learn to hold the brush. The bottom stick you hold firm. You never move it. You use the thumb and the first two fingers to move the top stick. Right. That's how you get your food. So, when you take away that stationary stick, you have two fingers on top. Mm -hmm. The stick is resting on your ring finger. That's the way you hold the brush. Okay. Never changes. You either paint straight up and down, or you roll at the elbow. That's your only your only two choices. I don't know if I have good ink. Okay. These brushes are the only brushes on the planet that'll let you go from really thick to really thin, and then back again, without changing your life. And the bristles are made of what? Animal fur. This one is uh, spring dough. It's like, there's just not a whole lot. There's only eight strokes. Like, one of them is a little hook. Mm -hmm. Well, if you take two of those little hooks, you have a petal for a flower. I teach shei, which means spontaneous, write the idea, do it right now. It means that whatever you start this hour, you complete it today. You don't come back tomorrow and get to work on it. In Chinese art, the first stroke always shows, no matter how many layers you put over it. Whether you think you're going to hide it or not, you mm -hmm. know, because it always shows through. Can you draw grapes for me? Okay. <laughs> What's special about this paper? Um, this is a very absorbent paper, and it just happens to be what's out here. Let me do one that's not quite so absorbent. This is a very humble paper called Yanshu, and it's like a kitchen paper, but every calligrapher loves it because it responds so well. We create what we're going to create with. This is an ink stick, this ink bowl. You add water to it. You grind the stick on the stone, you create ink. I find it takes 265 turns to make good ink. Women grind counterclockwise, men grind clockwise. Hmm. It has to do with the way the blood flows in the body. And we're it goes back to acupuncture and being healthy. Okay, so with grapes, deep, there are two different ways to make grapes. I usually do this way. And when I teach grapes, they get a bundle of grapes and then they can eat them all and finish them. And then you look at that structure that's left and you know how it looks. It's just so You think some grapes are round? That's just you start with your bundle and you have to make the leaves. Color mixing is done on the brush. You know, in the West, white and black is either way the color, but in the East, black is the first color and white. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. and after you let it set for a minute, you take your brush and get the same grip. Something a little darker. We make another those two are facing the same way. And then you change it. Because they have a lot of leaves. Lots of leaves. And even though you may not see the vein right.
right now, once this is all dry, mm -hmm. the rain comes back. Yep. And depending on how big and where these drapes are going to be, you know, if they're going to be hanging from something. Memorial time. Right. Mm -hmm. And usually they are. Mm -hmm. You know, because they say yeah. the better drapes come from somebody yeah. that's been standing there a long time. Mm -hmm. Weather goes yeah, storm, the it. bad weather, the heat. Old time. Right. And they always have all kinds of things jingling around, hanging there. So, I want to get lighter now. That's great. So I learned to do this in one hour, or two hours, a two hour class? Oh yeah, pretty good. But every lesson starts with writing okay. one mm -hmm. character, whether it turns out good mm -hmm. or not isn't the idea. Okay. The idea is to just go through the magician. That's fun. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to take my class now. So <laughs> okay. Signing off.